Hey everybody, Up North Collectors here. We're here with our fourth box out of our case of six boxes of Jumbo 2018 Series 1 Jumbo. Um, we uh, are expecting to get what's advertised on the box, obviously. One autograph, two relic cards. We have two silver packs to open as well. Um, and so we'll open up those and start opening up the pack. So last time we hit... Um, a slew auto check out our video box number three you can see what we got there um, and <clears throat> we've hit so far uh, two numbered relics and uh, a couple base to yeah, I don't worry about it there you go all right so the first silver pack here these boxes are kind of stubborn sometimes did get one very nice Hank Aaron card so far. That was nice. Looks like there's something blue in this pack, so that's cool. Uh, got Andrew Bantendi. Once again, these are really sweet looking, but that's cool for our PC. Yeah, that's a nice looking card. Carlos Correa. Got a nice Victor Robles. Oh, that's nice. The top rookies this year. Your ad card. And a blue... A red Joey, Joey Votto. Votto. Not bad. It's out of 49 out of 150. It's a little higher number. The blues are a little higher number. Yeah. Nice looking parallel, though. These yeah, that's really, really sharp. Cool. Yeah, they they are very sharp. Like, they're like the Mojo um, uh, yeah, ones, refractors uh, that they had in the um, Bowman Mega Boxes. They look just like that. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, that Vado is a sweet looking card. So I was reading some forums, and it seems like you're getting, like, out of uh, 12 silver packs, you should get about two numbered cards. That's kind of what you're expecting. And about one every 36 packs ish has a um, autograph in it. So. Yeah, the autos are um, hard to pull. I think production may be up on this uh, product this year, but. Um, it is series yeah. one. They make tons of it already. So, uh, but with last year being such a good year, it always seems like there's a uh, run on the next year because people are excited about it and they're looking for some big hits and they start finding the cards have been overproduced. Well, hopefully they didn't do that this year with tops, but you never know. It's cool in the Mookie Bet salute. Did you get the auto right away? I think so. It might be. It looks like they're two eighty threes on us that down there back to the base cards the angels Grichik Kinsler Ahmed Buxton Shamer Razi Zimmerman James McCann Chris Archer in his ugly rays uniform see there's that car I saw on the last video oh, yeah, the yeah. yeah it's a sweet card and then the tops now. Okay, this one's Derek Jeter, so they're not all judged. Yeah, they're not all judged. They're tops now, so. And this one is going to be a tops 83. It's like a Twins pitcher, so who is it? Aaron Sluggers. Yep. It's got a nice autograph. It does have a nice autograph. <clears throat> this is kind of what you should expect out of one of these Series 1 boxes. They have a lot of names like this. like a 100 autograph yeah, checklist. Yeah, it's a big checklist. There are massive names like Trout and stuff, but yeah. most of the time you're going to end up getting them. Those are the super hard ones to pull. They don't yeah. tell you that in the checklist that those are the, they only made 10 of those. Because they're technically numbered the same. <laughs> you know, they don't number them, <laughs> but they, the production is <clears throat> Right, they, exactly. So we've opened up now four of this is the fourth box that we're opening and they all the autos have been on the left side of the I box so, is that yeah. right sounds right and there's a relic in this one this pack and that's where we get our first two hits right off the bat here yeah so if you're watching this video and you wanted to see the hits you're going to get two of them right away so we got kyle seager uh josh donaldson Ozzy Elbies and the hit is going to be an Arizona Diamondback, JD Martinez. Once again, the relics are nice looking. They did a good job with with the relics, in my opinion. Even though 
I'm not the biggest fan of them. Uh, they're a lot better than the year before. They also seem to have... Uh, it used to be just a lot of white patches. Seems like there's right. a little bit uh, variety in color. More color, yep. Which is nice, so. Back through the base here. Now we've seen all these base cards at least two or three times a piece. Let's go and reveal them. Alright. Alright, so let's see if we can get something out of uh, this here silver pack. Pink air, and we pulled a parallel of that one, uh, green. Um, this is uh, just the base. Harrison uh, Bader, that's a rookie card. And a Raphael cool. Devers, sweet, that's a nice one. Um, rookie card, and Chris nice. Bryant. Nice. Got a lot of the big name rookies so far, though, so okay. Yeah, the so silver packs them. have a lot of uh, rookies in them. Did we ever figure out how many are in there? Is it 50 or? I just Red on four months, a hundred card set. Hundred card set. Okay, I said that yesterday, um, but I'm not sure that that was accurate. It, I actually just looking at these cards, I'm guessing Oops. it's fifty, just by looking at these cards. Yeah, the highest 50, I haven't so. seen one over fifty yet, so I think it's so fifty. It's probably fifty, but I, I think with the series two and then the series one, it's probably a hundred card total set. Yeah, when they right when they. Uh, release series two they'll have another uh, silver pack set and then it will be the next 50 all right Lewis Princeton now plays for the Marlins I believe uh, Stanton and here's our insert uh, top salute and then a gold Brian Anderson that's gonna be numbered 218 or 2018 uh, Mike Trout Michael Waka, a Yohan Mankata, 1983. And then we have our horizontal cards. Rich Hill, Flores, um, Herrera. All right, we'll just go through these. There's a Verdugo, that's our rookie card. Um, Baltimore Orioles. Rick Porcello. Will Meyer. Raphael Tapia, Waka, Fulmer, Reddick, and Cashier. All right, <clears throat> next pack. Looking for one more relic and hopefully something really um, short printed. That would be nice. Uh, uh, super low numbered short print would be fun to pull. Or an SSP. That'd yeah, or an SSP. That would be maybe even better. Um, the SSPs are definitely hard to pull. Uh, we've gotten one SP per box so far. This one looks like we have the relic in it here. So third hit already out of four packs. All on the top. Don't be afraid to go in your hobby store and pick the top pack. You could be pleasantly surprised. All right. Um, you never know where the hits lie. Let's see if I can get these cards off. There we go. Chris Sale. And here we have a Bill, Dylan Batansis, uh top salute. Um, a field award, fielding award, uh, or Ozuna. Max Scherzer and the relic is going to be Michael Conforto. Um, this is just going to be a base relic, I believe. Yep, base They're relic. Nice looking, though. I think you only get two of those a case. I think that's how that works. So pretty sharp, nice looking card. Um, once again, they did a good job on the relics. I like the spring training relics and those. Um, you know, not not the biggest fan of them, but definitely. Um, they did a better job making the cards, in my opinion. Um, not that last year's were horrible by any means, but... I definitely like the Arizona ones better. The Arizona ones last year were a little bit ugly, but this year they're... Yeah. <clears throat> so, there we go. So, got six more packs to go out of this uh, box. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so far, the case has been average. Uh, I yeah. wouldn't say it's below. I wouldn't say it's above. Definitely probably somewhere in the middle um, uh, but 
All it takes is one card to turn it around. I, I've seen um, a lot of cases like this in forums where you get a lot yeah. of, you do fine, you know, you get a lot of average stuff. And, yeah, and you don't know which one of these rookies will take off. I mean, like last year, Judge was not a big ticket rookie to come right. out with. He was bigger, but not the biggest. <clears throat> not the biggest. Holiday Springer. Looks like there's a black. There's a black seven. card in here. Frank Whoa, Thomas. That's a good one. That's a sweet looking card with the Yeah. Black border. So we got a blue border. Now we got a black border. And so these our, are numbered out of two ninety nine. Oh, those are numbered. Okay. So those must be a little hard. Oh. And it is quite off centered, actually. If you look at this card compared to that card, just by the centering on the edges, that side is thicker than that one. That yeah. Portion. So it would not be a perfect card if you graded it. That's a that's pretty cool though. It is a cool card. Good name to get. Yeah, the black with his uh, the white socks white Sox really uniform cool. on it. That's pretty cool. I don't know what the odds are on pulling one of those. It's cool that they put parallels those. Last year that was the one kind of disappointing thing with the 87s is you just got the 87s. Yeah, they didn't have any parallels. They did they? have parallels. They were just all numbered to 25 or less I think. So they were oh, really? really hard to pull. No, I don't they really did. remember seeing any of those. I think they were red and they had like ash and oh something yeah else. that's right that's right they were they autograph the parallels and, and the then uh, regular parallels and, yeah, yeah. They had like one on ones and they're all really low numbered stuff that were impossible to pull but this year they're putting in some other stuff which is cool. Sluggers Garcia Turner Blackman uh, Joey Votto uh, salute. Silver Slugger, George Springer, Andrew Kashner, uh, Rainbow Foil. Then our short print is <coughs> Joey Gallo. <coughs> I'm guessing that's just going to be the yep, SP. That's a S43. <coughs> Charles Stanton, uh, 83. Back to the base. If you see it with a player in their warm up uniform, that's a. Uh, definitely can tell you that's a short print. I, I think almost all the super short prints are in them in. The regular uniform. Yeah, none of the base cards are in warm up uniforms either, so. Yeah, right. So it's kind of a giveaway when you see them in a warm up. Yeah. Which is nice because they give you a way to identify it if you don't know the code. At least you know, hey, this one's not part of the normal set. Yes, so. Great holiday, Colton Wong. All the base cards. Uh, Strasburg, Granky, these are all turned around. Aaron Judge, Aaron Judge, Reese Hoskins. Yep, that's the that's typical pattern. pattern. Cal Ripken. Uh, Willie Calhoun Gold, Gold Rookie. Somebody Same said pattern. he was supposed yeah, to be he, pretty I good. I think he's supposed to be pretty good. Jason Hayward, uh, Silver Sluggers, or Fielding Award. Uh, Josh Reddick, Rainbow Foil. Nice Cody Bellinger, 83. And back to the base cards. Lots of base cards. You get like 3,000 cards total in a case. So about 2,500 yeah. base cards at least. Probably more than that. More like 2,700. <laughs> yeah, so a lot of base cards. Um, if you don't like base cards or to make sets, you probably don't want to be buying too much Series 1. Um, because this is what you're going to get. Uh, they're, in my opinion, a lot of fun to open, but definitely can be redundant. Um, and they can actually get after, like, I could see of opening, like, a case of Hobby, where with, like, 36 packs in a box, you get kind of bored eventually with all of the base. Yeah, I think the, the case of Hobby it would, be, would be pretty tough. I mean, as far as staying pretty excited i think that's the nice thing with the jumbo is you get um a lot of cards but you can go through them you know where the you know where the uh the hits generally are and um yeah you don't have to take so much time to go through it and open up pack after pack after pack 10 packs versus 36 packs is quite a big difference in a box all right eric davis top salute uh, Lewis a lewis brinston um that's going to be a gold 2018 Brinson um, Barnhart Tucker Barnhart 
and a Corey uh, Dickerson. John Smoltz, 1983. And then um, our base cards again. So let's go through those there. Nelson Cruz, Christian Velasquez, good catcher for the Red Sox, good defensive catcher. They actually, both their catchers um, uh, played really well last year, throwing guys out, the Red Sox. Velasquez and uh, what's his, what's the other guy's, yeah, Leon, yeah, I can't think of his name. I mean, yeah, I can picture his face, Sandy Leone. Yeah. He, Vasquez, he's a Leone was a better home run hitter than Vasquez hits like a lot of singles. Yeah, he field. hits a lot to opposite field and really sprays the ball around. Um, but both of them good defensive catchers, which is not always the case. All right, so let's see here. We got this pack: Prado, Matt Adams, Santana. Uh, uh, Polanco, this potent pairs, um, Miggy and Haas. So, um, <laughs> Miguel Sano and Kevin and Hosmer, right? Yep. Trey Mancini had a good that's year last Kevin year. Hosmer, it's Eric, Hosmer. Eric Hosmer. Sorry, right when I said Kevin, I'm like that's not the right right name. All right, Nikki Delmonico, uh, Yoan Makata, a Michael Fulmer uh, foil, and a J.P. Crawford, 1983. This is not a short print. Hosmer. Eric Hosmer, um, Swanson, Zuna. It's been a very fun case to open so far. Series one's always really fun. Gets you hyped up for baseball season, seeing all the players again. Yeah, it does. <clears throat> all right, last pack, guys. So see if we can pull any parallels out of here. So far, did we get? There's a Thomas. But oh yeah, the really Thomas, good. right? But we didn't get any other. We still haven't hit a Father's Day, Mother Day, Mother's Day, or a Memorial Day card yet. Um, Not that you're guaranteed any of those, but generally speaking, you hit one of those in a case. But once again, no guarantees. That's Alex Avila, Lester, Scherzer, Zimmerman, Cruz, Hosmer. Blackburn, Cisco, Birdwell, Arroyo, Bragman. Those two go hand in hand in this these packs. Here's a Austin Hayes, an Aaron Judge uh, Award winners Rookie of the Year award. Ooh, nice. Uh, nice. I met Rosario, and this is going to be black. Yeah, that's a good. So one. that's a good one. Yeah, forty three out of sixty seven. So that's a good one. A rookie card. Um, <clears throat> We've had we've had a, a few decent parallels, Bryce Harper. Yeah. Um, so that was a good one, a good way to end the box. Um, and then overall, actually, this wasn't that bad of a box. The autograph was pretty horrible. Yeah, the autograph's pretty horrible, but the, that'll probably be one of your worst autographs out of your case, I would imagine. Yeah. Now um, we have two more boxes left. We'll see if we can pull one big autograph, but. Uh, don't hold your breath. Don't hold your breath on series yeah, one. I wouldn't be surprised. Last year we didn't really. Hit last year in our case we didn't hit a big auto. I think our best autograph last year was a Jock Pedersen top salute number to fifty. It was a decent card. I think it yeah. sold for about fifty bucks or so. Um, nothing to complain about, but it wasn't a monster hit by any means. So. And then we opened up two hobby boxes that were not jumbo boxes that were not from our case and got yeah, we got one of two the best cards that we've yeah we, best cards we ever pulled yeah we we opened up two loose boxes and got later a Chris in the year Bryant 101 patch auto and a, a buster posey 101 nameplate yeah and, and the name um those were pretty awesome patch card yeah Louis Brinson gold nice joey Votto blue frank thomas black which is actually a very cool looking card uh brian anderson gold Willie Calhoun gold. Lots of rookie golds, actually. That's yeah. Nice. Uh, Joey Gallo, SP. Metrosario Black. 
Aaron Sleggers auto, Michael Conforto, and JD Martinez. I tell you what, even though the autos haven't been great, it's so nice to see on card autos uh, in this product. So it definitely adds value to it, even if the guys' names aren't huge. Um, go back a few years ago, and I'll just see a stickers and and really uh, kind of washed up players uh, that you know were in the product. Um, anyways, um, this was a pretty good box overall. Had a lot of fun opening it. Hopefully, you guys like what you saw. If you did, please hit the like button. Comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, um, and uh, have fun collecting, guys. Uh, we hope you're doing well, having a good week, and we look forward to posting more breaks uh, soon. And we will uh, uh, keep busting this uh, case. we got two more boxes to go. All right, take care, and we will see you soon.